I want my Jay Maloney, I want my Dracula. 24 hours, Dracula. on the big picture. Winona Ryder, Gary Oldman, and Keanu Reeves go for the throat. Macaulay Culkin answers his tears. And Whitney Houston dishes Kevin Costner. Plus Passenger 57, Malcolm X, and actors who direct. I'm Chris Connolly, and what is the curious lip lock that vampire stories seem to have on the throat of the American public these days? First, the success of the Anne Rice books, and now this year in movies has brought a bounty of bloodsuckers, from Buffy the Vampire Slayer to Innocent Blood. Well, maybe it's the element of timeless love that vampires represent, or maybe something a little more sinister is at work. Either way, the vampire jewel in the crown gets released this week with Bram Stoker's Dracula, the product of a remarkable collaboration between the near-mythic director Francis Ford Coppola and a raft of Hollywood's most appealing young actors, Winona Ryder, Carrie Elwes, Bill Campbell, Keanu Reeves, and as Count Dracula, Gary Oldman. Now, with its blood exchanges and its intimations of doom, this movie's eerie eroticism does offer some rather frightening parallels to today. I've never been remotely interested in vampires. I have to work with them, you know. It's an occupational hazard if you live in Hollywood. I'm following a tradition, and there's a long chain, Bella Lugosi, Bob's Carla, but I'm sort of part of that list. What is so sexy about, you know, a vampire, and what is so sexy about it? Because I couldn't figure it out. There's something that, that people, you know, about biting a neck, and like a neck is very giving. Like if you go like this, it's like you're offering it. It's necking, but it's with the teeth. Uh, there was such an erotic um, theme with vampires, and, and I think they are. I mean, they're terrifying, and but it's that fear of the unknown and the danger, and this powerful kind of. Trust me. My darling husband. History is that Bram Stoker did die of syphilis, and, and I thought, you know, this notion of the venereal disease, which re really means, venereal disease means diseases of Venus, uh, which means God-given, you know, and our whole Western society's confusion about sex and the notion that venereal disease might be punishment for sex. <laughs> The actual uh, allegory, rather, to uh, AIDS, it's partly intentional, I think. I mean, that's what Coppola discussed with us, you know, during rehearsal. He said, you know, it's about a disease of the blood. So it's an emergency situation where there's an evil force present. We fight not one beast, but the legions that go on age after age after age, feeding on the blood of the living. I recently lost a friend to AIDS, and I, I was, it had been on my mind a lot, and this is a movie about blood, and blood is the, the, the plague of today right now, and it's not like a movie about AIDS, but it's, the blood theme is definitely very really powerful. Oh, I cannot let this be. Yeah, I love you too much to condemn you. I like to joke to say that the most this Dracula movie has to do with the AIDS crisis is that if it's successful, I can make a movie about the search for a cure. All right, love and death, those eternal companions. You know, along with Francis Coppola, a lot of the visual effects in this film come courtesy of his son, Roman Coppola. <laughs>